<sighs> Which is basically what I said, accurate or not false. Alright, okay. I'm good. Weapons are unbalanced. Startified the, with the scientific term for it. Oh, I don't want to resume it that way. In Spider Man? What? No, I'm not playing Spider Man. <laughs> I'm playing Castle Man. Yeah. Now I have to I'm just plow through it this way. I'm just going to explore. It's quick and easy. Rub your face on them. Are they different levels? Well, sort of. This works kind of like a pit of a hundred trials kind of thing. Except that instead of having a hundred trials, I'm like seven, but they're really, really obnoxious. Oh, it's less than a hundred. This guy's gonna dead, this guy's gonna dead, this guy's gonna dead. They're all on fire, it's bad for them. They shouldn't do that, it's unhealthy. Being on fire is unhealthy. Did you know that? No. Oh, yeah, being on fire is unhealthy. It's a Minotaur boy. Minotaurs don't do that. A Bulova. Get it? Bulova? Is that... Is that that guy? He's like a bull. Mm. Puns. They're great. I don't know what a Bulova is. What is it? That's not what I meant to do. It's like a hammer. Uh, it rained inside. Yeah, it's pretty cool like that. Oh no! Jackal bones. I don't like these guys. They're very annoying. I won't do this floor again. It has 50 hit points, and it can only take one damage at a time. He looks really bored. He is really bored. Or cramped, maybe. I'm kind of surprised you would watch the Castlevania thing as gory as it is. I've been told lots of blood happens in that series. Perfect timing, I was looking for someone to stream something and I didn't find anything. Hey! Kamigeno, how are you? Hello! It's not good to fight guys with low hit points. Well, uh, hmm. I prefer to fight people with low hit points. Not with your hit points. Ambiguous statement. Have you played this one? I forget, Kami. I know that you commented on one of the games that I've been playing. This is definitely the best way to take care of this guy. Eating pizza and drinking coffee. Wait, the same place is serving both? Haven't you ever had pizza and coffee? No. I don't like coffee. Either, but I am. Coffee makes me tired. It has a 
paradoxical effect on you? ADHD. Yeah. Well, I need someone to tell me an easier way to farm this stupid guy in the first room of this so I don't have to keep going through this whole thing. Not what I meant to do. This room is where I want. Next room I want her out. Okay, so it's an hour old copy. She has the wrong move. I need to equip her with explode. No. Is it cost one of those drinks best served hot or really cold? It depends. And never in between. So next room is equip. I'm in the wrong floor in my head. This boss is best. A cookie chiller? This boss is best handled by um, not having your partner out, which is very unusual. And he's dead. Huh. Um. White chocolate coffee. See, I don't like the taste of coffee, even if it's like a, a frappuccino or something that has like almost no coffee. I do not like the taste of coffee at all. I can't eat bitter things. It's like alcohol. If I can taste alcohol in something, I don't like the taste of it. Unlike all the rest of my friends, it's the whole reason I've never really drank anything. Or never really drank much. I also don't like the taste of it. Uh, a little few times I've actually tasted it, and I don't really want to see myself inebriated. Drop the thing, guy! Ah! He doesn't want to drop it. I he know, but I later. do need him to. It's very important. What if he needs it later? He doesn't, because he'll be dead! And I'll keep making him dead. He's doing more damage now, because that doesn't usually happen. Why were you kicking the ceiling? So I could get over these guys without getting hit. It didn't work very well. Oh no! Oh no! Where'd he go? Oh, <laughs> he just ran into the wall and died. It's fine. Let's see here. So I need you to equip. I need to do this. This. Am I staying hydrated? Hmm. Typically. I'm bad at that. I have this water ball I take to work and just sort of it sits around me at home too. Hydration is one thing I'm really bad at doing. Although I do better during the summer because I have to or else I'll like pass out at work, which doesn't sound like the most inspiring thing to do at work. You're not inspired to pass out at work? I'm not inspired to pass out when I could be helpful to people. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'm gonna take him out easy this time. 51 damage is it? Just like all around stamina. I'm friends with a bunch of introverts. Introverts seem less likely to get drunk from what I know. 
That's not to say that it never happened. It's to say that from the ones that I know, most of them don't even like the idea of drinking. This is a stupid adventure. <laughs> Far better than I intended it to. Like, well, expected it to. I intended all to work well, but it worked better than I thought it would. Yeah. There I suppose we go. doing now, things like that socially almost makes sense, but just not my style. Now's the room where I need it. Yeah! I've got it mostly down to where I don't take much damage anymore. It's just slow. Next you gotta look at your speedrunning skills. Well, speedrunning a luck based thing doesn't work very well. <laughs> Unless you're tacit. To me, it's rude. Zooming into me, bastard. Only yeah, this... if you, only if you don't have like parents. That's the only time you zoom into people. The point of strength stat in RPGs where they have things like, yeah, I don't know why it has both. Strength is literally just a uh, fraction attack stat. You need like four strength to get one extra attack damage. But you can also just boost your attack damage. I don't understand. What if you need to move a large, heavy object? Uh, that is not affected by your strength in this. That's only affected by if you have a certain ability. not have drops? Oh, no. These guys don't. The biggest problem with extra lives in video games is game overs in video games because it's like random setbacks for no real fun reason. I don't like that because there's no coin op to worry about anymore. Which was the main reason that they had them in the first place, was to keep people from just playing the game all day at the arcade. Now it's not so useful. Now it's just basically make the game slightly less fun because tradition, yo. all you have to do. Ice Needle's amazing versus this guy. Certain aspects, like if you're running through a dungeon in a game, then you'll point. Um. 
I guess I don't know what you mean. That means gonna drop it? Probably not, but still, we're gonna do it again. I think that's the most exciting. This is why these are episode zero, as we believe. He's so dead. Like, like top notch dead, in fact. Why do you need all these things? Because it's a hundred percent. That may be the best way of moving it. Ceiling kicking? Yeah, just one for one for being ceiling. Did he just die? Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Look at his leg, he's just so... I wouldn't call it agile. It seems like the incorrect word. <laughs> just... That defends. See, like, for me, I like to just have fun. I'm not out to show people how amazing I am at any game. That's why, even though I love the idea of 100%ings, I very rarely 100% games. That's exactly what I did not want to do. Well, like, uh, the biggest example of what I'm talking about is recently Shin's been playing Mega Man games. And Mega Man, it'll have checkpoints, but then just every once in a while when you run out of lives, instead you just get no checkpoint and get knocked all the way back to the beginning. And it's dumb and stupid and not fun, especially in, like, the Wily stages, which are tedious. And most of them, I would argue, are not fun, even. Yeah, see, that just adds, like, a level of not fun in my mind, anyway. I'm glad he just watches unless you get close. See, we actually argue the exact opposite. One and two are our least favorites. <laughs> hmm. I played some of Eleven. Eleven's pretty good. I only put the demo. I have to buy. I have too many like things to buy. Well, like I said, just have more money, dude. Just be rich. I don't think changing my name would really help. They say in that one Nickelback song. I'll even cut my hair and change my name. Because we all just want to be with big rock stuff. Nah, I don't want to be a big rock star. Do you want to be a medium sized rock star? Not particularly. How about like a tiny rock star? Like a, like a can of rock star? No. I think it's not fun to have to redo that part for Tracker's Heroes. That's the point. Punishment, like, um, in some games, no real risk of it. Well, see, that depends. For me, like, 
I get that. I play the, the easiest mode on Terraria because I don't really want to have to go chasing after all my items. The punishment is money, which you very rarely use after a certain point in the game. But I don't want to have to go chase down all my items constantly. I don't find that fun. It's just like work for work's sake. And so like redoing a dungeon if you fail, it just it makes it more like busy work and less like a game in my mind. Like, I like a challenge, but I feel like there are better ways of executing a challenge than just making you do work for no reason. I do think failure needs repercussions. If well, I think failure happens. can have repercussions, but that's not... I just feel like additional backtracking on top of the other backtracking, like having two tiers of backtracking just means that the other one is, here, have less fun this time than the last time you did it. Because, like, sure, if it sends you back to the start of the room or whatever, to me, that's the punishment. The punishment shouldn't be sometimes, okay, now redo absolutely everything. That's my if just the back to the beginning of a room, then that's still way too easy. Ah, uh, that depends on the game. <laughs> mm, true. Yeah. Well, no, I have the weird preference. Most people like a lot more cost in their games, whereas for me, I'm more in it to explore the ideas of the game, so... Hi, I play Dark Souls. Being, things being difficult does not appeal to me. Yeah, like Dark Souls, I would never play Dark Souls. We would stream it if he wants to stream it, but I would never play Dark Souls. This room... Dark Souls, the game that finding the story is difficult. Yeah, which again, that's even less appealing to me because that's the reason that I play a lot of more story-based games. The story now, what I will is hidden in all the item descriptions and not by talking to people. And the other thing that, well, one, there's also the wolf, which automatically makes me not like the one Dark Souls game. And two, there is the um. Oops. Well, I didn't mean to do that. And two, um... See, like, I like the designs of some enemies in the Dark Souls games. I think there's some cool and creative, really creepy-looking enemies and stuff. But... It doesn't make up for what I would consider major negatives. Yeah, Sonic should have Infinite Continues. It's just not the type of game that life's fixed. I can see that, yeah. I don't remember ever actually losing all my life to the Sonic game. You know. Oh, I have. Hydro City Zone gave me a lot of trouble in Sonic. Ah, uh, Sonic Adventure 2. Fake Hedgehog! Whatever that means. You know, it's a hedgehog, but it isn't really a hedgehog. It's made of paper mache. I mean, I guess in the sense that he is a synthetic being, according to the story. Yeah. I guess that qualifies as technically a fake hedgehog. It does. Huh. Oh, you were a dick. Oh, you were even more of a dick. That's what I was saying. Shadow is a fake hedgehog in, I guess, the sense that he is a synthetic being. The lore around him was drugs, but were you ever really looking for a super serious story in a Sonic game? If you were looking for a super serious st uh, story in a Sonic game, I have some bad news for you. It's a game about... Oh, Shadow calls him the fake hedgehog? Oh no, that's right, Sonic calls him the Faker, that's right. There you are, Faker! 
<sighs> Sonic games. They're edgy, but like in all of the dumbest possible ways. Dude, why are you holding me hostage like this? He's sorry, but your princess is in another castle. Yeah, but I don't even want a princess, I just want a friggin' record. But that's in another castle too, with the princess. Well, that's bad, and I don't like it. What really makes me mad about the Sonic games is the fans have basically said they really would love us another Sonic Adventure game, and they're like, we won't do Chow Gardening. That's awful. And yet, at the 25th anniversary, they, like, did a whole bunch of dance remixes of Chow Garden music. <laughs> Would you love me some Chow Garden? Chow Garden. Not big turtles, big, like, plesiosaur creatures with machines attached to them. Plesiosaurs on life support are the penultimate life form. <laughs> if a turtle had a gun, you mean Blastoise? No, Blastoise has two guns. See, it's a one star rarity, that means it's supposed to be common. I've fought 16 of them and it hasn't dropped anything since the second time I fought one. Yep, common. What's a cannon if not a really big gun? A cannon literally is exactly a really big gun. <laughs> Money. He gave me 50 dar. Ceiling kicking. Yeah, it's the ultimate form of super slow movement. I did that to myself. I walked straight into that thing's butt. It's only a head. It can't have a butt. Apparently though, cannons are considered a type of gun, but not a firearm. Now that's even more confusing, because it literally is an arm that you fire. Yeah. Not that kind of arm, shush. Yeah, no, I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, it kind of is. Now, and you uh, fire with fire! Yeah. Now, there's an arm cannon, which is an arm that's also an arm that you fire. <laughs> it's an arm based firearm. Mm hmm. So far only been a thing of video games, because who really wants a gun attached to their arm at all times? I want a hand attached to my arm at all times. Yeah, I tend to want one of those too. They're useful. Guns are useful in very unique circumstances. This is why every version of Mega Man, even though he's a robot, totally has an arm cannon. Zero, uh, in the Mega Man Zero series, not in the Mega Man X series, actually carries a pistol. 
Although, that said, aren't there certain versions of Mega Man where the gun can flip around and turn into a hand? Yeah, there's an off his hand stored inside the arm cannon, yeah. so all of them still have two hands. Jonathan. I keep wanting to switch here, but there's no reason for me to switch here because I don't have explosion or uh, <laughs> chain lightning. Could also be the trick. Chain lightning! Chain lightning! Which, Chain Lightning is scary stuff, man. Like, it's a very effective attack versus demons. If you ever need to fight uh, demonic entities, especially with armor, uh, Chain Lightning wow. is the way to go. I didn't know that. Look. She's pulling an arm Huh. I mean, that's cool and interesting, but again, it's still mostly a thing of video games. And movies. Far from competing with the arm cannon because it made him such a good shot, it was triggered by his opposite shoulder muscle and bolted firmly, such stability of firing. Huh. I killed 16 of this boss. I don't like him. He's annoying. You're saying arm cannons are just more efficient than normal guns. Which I guess means that there is a functional purpose to making them. It's also hilarious. <laughs> you know what else is hilarious? Ask Shin about baseball. Why? Because we've made an entire completely stupid lore to baseball that makes no sense whatsoever. No! What is Mostly involving slide kicking eyeballs and, uh, like. It mostly came from the Castlevania games. Ow. Hey, road work at the age of seven? Bridge that breaks labor laws. Uh, there were no labor laws during the 18s. <laughs> 1850s. Fair. Gun. <laughs> that's obviously the choice. That's what that's what you would put, obviously. I suppose at the point where they added the gun as, as his prosthetic arm, he was a cyborg. Um machine, so I guess. I mean just having prosthetic limbs technically makes you a cyborg. Technically. If augment if you have the technology added to your body to augment your current performance. I thought it specifically had to be a machine to count as a symbol. He might be right. Regardless, world's first cyborg dead. If I hit him with one more of those, that would have been one cycle slow or faster. Which, in this case, one cycle faster is a huge deal for me because this is dumb. <laughs> it's not even a challenge anymore. I've basically memorized the easiest way to do all the rooms with no real major issue. But I have to keep doing it because this bastard won't drop a record. Cyborgs are technically limited to only fiction in definition. Well, that's no fair. Cyborg is a person whose physical abilities extend beyond normal human limitations by mechanics. That's not technically um, a fictitious statement. If something that well, is he a had a gun attached to his arm. I was gonna say, if it's <laughs> technically some sort of mechanical enhancement, it's the wrong thing! I mean, I'll at least take that you dropped something that's nice, but... Yes, but if you have that leg spring-loaded, it can replace the other one too, then you could run faster than a normal human. That's why they don't let uh, certain Olympic ru like, like certain people run in the actual Olympics, because they're actually faster. Yeah, than... that's actually the Paralympics functions the opposite way for people who have like um, prosthetic limbs. 
because sometimes the prosthetic limbs, especially in running, make you move much faster. At which point, Cyborg! Also, Tommy, you do agree that having exactly one drop and having to go through six rooms is really dumb design, right? Like, this is not the best example of the uh, Castlevania series. Quit jumping! It's really annoying and I can't hit you when you do it. aggravating. <laughs> what would you have lost? I would have to go all the way back to the title screen, select and reload, and then walk all the way through that area again and not get any new drops. <laughs> because the way the drops are set up in this game doesn't have anything to do with the timer for randomness. It has something to do with, like, kill count and some other internal variables, so like, even if you save state to do the same room, they'll always drop identical items unless you do something to adjust other numbers. I tried save stating for like, an hour before I realized that the drops did not vary, and to do that I actually had to go like, multiple rooms over. Saying six. Seven. Okay. You made me second guess myself there. <laughs> like, um, maybe? Uh, dark ass. If we were doing a stream for a long time. What's with his tiny legs? He's dumb. Dumb people have tiny legs. <laughs> Tiny-leg like, people aren't necessarily dumb, but dumb people have tiny legs. It's a, like a square rectangle rule. It works one way, but not the other. I don't believe that. Oh, well, he's dumb. Hmm. Dumb demons have tiny legs. Me. I've killed them enough times to get 60,000 experience since you got here, and they still haven't dropped this stupid-ass record. Which is a one-star rarity, I want you to remember. 
one star rarity. <laughs> What can you do? Be upset. Valid. I'm glad having a sword fall on top of your head does not do damage to you. I mean, that would imply that it is in some way an illness, which automatically implies certain opinions about things. My opinion is I don't really care what you are, but I do believe that it can be a socialized trait under certain circumstances. That fire just keeps happening. <laughs> It's an example of how dumb humans are. You got the Damascus sword? Yeah, but I already had one. I know. You got one. Now I have two, and I don't even have any reason to sell them, because I don't have anything to buy. I guess I could go and buy a bunch of food for the later part of the run. But Shin's too gamer proud and won't use food to heal in this game. Even though it's literally there specifically because certain areas are challenging enough that healing is a reasonable decision to make. I don't get why everything upsets people. No, it's not that he must keep them, it's that he's too proud to use them. He says he should be able to do everything in the game without healing. He yeah. feels bad doing it, and I don't understand that logic. You are a bastard. I don't. Don't get me wrong, I'm good at games. If you give me a tool, I'll use it. No, I totally will use healing items. I won't use the last of a healing item depending, like on this, so that way I can keep better track of which items I've had. Although now I'm far enough into the game where I don't have to worry about that as much. I always used to view using an item in battle as kind of unfair. Unfair? But if you play the Pokemon games, other trainers will use potions, so I don't understand that logic. And Odin Sphere, they use items. They totally do. I'd have to run out of my way to knock it out of their hand. I need them to stop. Yeah, I have zero gamer pride. I, I don't have... I will use, like, 
I have used cheats in one of my uh, streams specifically because I just wanted to get through the story mode in StarCraft. Because I wasn't really worried about showing how good I was, because there's plenty of people who are way better and I'm not even trying to compete. I just wanted to demonstrate what I thought was a really good story, which is the StarCraft series, and so I did the Terran missions, and towards the end I ran out of time, so I just used cheats to finish quickly because I had to leave. <laughs> Well, didn't care much for cheese. It depends on what I'm doing. Like, if I'm actually trying to play through the gameplay specifically, but the thing is, StarCraft is such a long-form game that if you're trying to do a stream and you run out of time, I mean, it's just unreasonable to expect. Because you're talking, like, 30 minutes to an hour per mission. Hmm. And it's not, and it's, I mean, it's just like this. I've experienced this all the way through. I've done everything there is to do with this, which is why it's becoming unfun to get this one item. Because it's not that I can't do it, it's that the attacks are more luck-based than the item drops. Which is a kind of stupid design. Why am I more likely to have bad luck with the attacks a boss gives me than the um, item drops? Like, I don't have any control over a way to manipulate luck for the item drops without just resetting everything. I've gotten it to where I can take, like, less than 200 damage or less than 300 damage versus six rooms that I have to keep redoing because it won't drop a one-star rarity item. Oh, hey! I know that game. Were you the one who recommended it to us? What game? Johnny and the Pulsating Mass. It's a, an Earthbound like. Oh. This guy is a bastard, and I want him to die repeatedly. Oh, you're succeeding at that part. I know, but I want him to die repeatedly without me having to do it. 